So heat wave is still going on strong in Madrid. We're still at over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38, 39 degrees Celsius. And it sucks. <laughs> also, I hate having my hair up. So if you please have nice things to say only about it being up, write them. Otherwise, don't tell me anything because I'm already feeling a little bit uncomfortable having it up. So yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads where I talk about books and things. And today I thought we'd do a really fun video or at least a video that for me seems like fun and that is books that have grown on me. These are books that while I was reading them or even after I finished reading them, I gave them a low rating or I gave them a so-so rating and then through time I realized that these books are actually favorites of mine and I just didn't realize it at the time. It took time for them to grow on me. Now the first book that I'm going to talk about is the book that inspired this entire video and that is Horrid by Katrina Leno. Now Horrid by Katrina Leno is about a girl named Jane and Jane is just recently lost her dad very tragically very sudden and she's moving from sunny California to Maine which might as well be the other side of the world now when she moves to her new house in Maine which was her grandmother's house she finds that she's going through some stuff mentally and she's not being quite herself things are starting to like unravel around her now originally what I didn't like about this book was the ending. I felt that the ending kind of left me wanting more. But then the more I thought about it, the more I realized the ending is what it should have been. Like it 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 leaves you wanting more. And I think that the ending is not what I wanted it to be because I wanted a happy ending and this definitely doesn't have a happy ending. No spoilers, don't worry. But it definitely is not a yay, everything is solved book. It's quite the contrary. But what I really like about this book is the atmosphere that it has. I really love all of the characters in the book. I love the female cast in the book, like friendships between women, well not women, girls in the book is are really good. I really like the idea about how an adult, like the adults in the book act towards the children characters. And I just thought that the atmosphere was so wonderful. It was like, I actually, there is a drink in this book. <laughs> that I actually bought lavender to make this drink for myself because I was just I just couldn't get my mind off of it. I think this is a really good book. I just I don't think this is the the most incredible book of its genre. I almost gave it away. But I do think that it's a really good book and I love it. I love it. And honestly, I kind of love that Horrid and Monica have the same number of letters. So there you go. This is the book that inspired this video and I really urge you to pick this up when it's getting cold out, when you know it's kind of Halloween-ish because I think you're really going to enjoy it. Sorry about that, my husband came home before I thought he was going to come home but anyway, the next book that I have here is The Changeling, the Changeling by Victor Lavelle. Now this is the story about a family living I think in New York where they they are just a happy family until one day the mother commits a horrible horrible act and the father is blamed for it it's a completely devastating read now the first half of the book is really about reality and what we can expect Whereas the second half of the book delves more into like fantastical fairy tale retelling land. And in the beginning, I wasn't all with it. I wasn't all there because I didn't get a lot of the references and a lot of the like things that were basically going on in the book. But as time has gone on, this book gnaws at me. You have no idea. I read this like three or four years ago and I still think about this constantly. I really love the writing. It's 
so lyrical it's so beautiful i love the story itself i love the characters i love what they represent and i just think that this is a book that everybody should pick up knowing that the second half of it really your suspension of disbelief has to go out the window because it's just going to get weird and weird and weirder okay <laughs> so it's an amazing book i really love it and it just sneaks up on you like you finish it and you're like okay that was strange and then slowly you're like wow that was strange that was strange and then you realize that you've been thinking about it for months <laughs> you know at least that's what happened to me i just think that this book is amazing and i recommend that you pick it up of course i recommend you pick up all these books the next book i have i think i already talked about it because if you saw my mid-year wrap-up you've seen it and it's the drowning girl by caitlin r kiernan now um this book is about a neurodivergent woman who is also queer who actually encounters a ghost or maybe two or maybe none you don't know the thing about this book is that this book is told in a way that is so back and forth and we're not sure what's real what's not real what happened in what timeline what timeline is the one that we're supposed to be listening to or living in it's really hard to follow so i think that that in the beginning diminished my enjoyment of the book but once i finished the book everything kind of came together and i was just shocked at how good and how well written it was and also how incredibly good the representation of somebody with schizophrenia that is going through a schizophrenic episode was I just think that this book is want to haunt you for the ages. I personally didn't find it scary, but I think a lot of people would find this book scary. So I recommend that you go into it with caution. And also just know that the that the mental health representation in this book is really jarring. I mean, it's somebody who stops taking their medication, who is seeing things, but are they seeing things or or is there something more is there something real here you know it's it's haunting in the best way possible and i cannot recommend this book enough i have another book by the same author that i'm really looking forward to read and i hope that it's just as haunting as well written as this one was the next book i have is a book that i actually read last year and that is the tenth girl by sarah faring now the tenth girl by sarah faring is a story about a young woman who gets um who who is in the middle of a crisis in argentina and she has to be hidden away so they sent her to the vaccaro school the vaccaro school is a school basically for bright young women of high society to go learn english and to be basically educated in the i don't know like <laughs> the arts of being a high society young woman you know um they don't have a lot of students they only have 10 except there is one girl missing the 10th girl and honestly this book i knew what was going on because if you participate in the hobby that this book uses as a I don't, I don't want to say it's a crutch, but as a plot device, then you can get what's going on really fast. But I still think that this book has stayed with me for a long time. And it's something that I go back to when I think about it. And I was like, wow, that was like an interesting concept for a book. And I think if you go into this with an open mind and if you, even if you figure out the twist, the story is actually really good and the ending is kind of amazing so this book when i first read it i was like well this is a three star but i have found that whenever i'm doing book on hauls and stuff and i see this book i'm like no i really like that book i really like what that book had to say i really like this and that so i just recommend that you pick it up and yeah this one was one that it didn't like hit me at the moment but later on I, again all of these books are books that have stayed with me 
and that have like haunted me afterwards you know it, it, it was like it took time for them to hit home but when they did boy did they hit a home run with me and the last book that I want to talk about is kind of cheating because this book it wasn't that it took a while for it to sink in or for me to like it because I started liking it as I was reading it but it took a while for me to be reading it to like it and that is and this is a little sneak peek into my July wrap up but this is Satellite by Nick Lake I'm not gonna say much about the plot of Satellite because I'm gonna talk about that in my wrap up but I will say this is the story about um, three children that were born in space and now they have to come back to Earth. That's all I'm gonna say about it. But the thing that got me not liking this book is that this book is written in text speak. Basically, it's written in a way that is not grammatically correct. The capitalization is not correct. And that kind of took me out of the story because I'm not a grammar Nazi or anything, but you know, the fact that it was so badly written kept taking away from the story until I got over myself and I realized that this book is amazing as much as I don't like the way that it's written. And after a while you get used to it anyway, but I would recommend maybe getting it on audio just so you don't have to see all of the grammatical mistakes <laughs> because are, they are really jarring, especially if you're used to reading you know well written books and you and you don't like text speak For, personally i don't like text speak there is an explanation as to why it's written as text speak but it comes at the very end and it doesn't it doesn't matter because you've already been reading it like that for so long but yeah in the end i think that if you can get over that this book will stay with you for a long long time and that's it those are the five books that grew on me that stayed with me that have haunted me and that i originally rated low but then became actual favorites of mine do you have any books like that um please let me know down below and if you don't and you just still want to let me know that you're here so that i know that i'm not talking to the abyss or to the void please leave me a black heart if you've made it this far but that's it from me today and without any further ado i bid you adieu with a reminder that i post three times a week or at least i'm trying to i'm getting back into the swing of things and well with that being said as always i will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!